Good day, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread devotional and scripture song broadcast for this first day of September. That's right, we are in the month of December, and August flew by, and the summer is almost over, and soon will be in the fall, and then 2024 will be upon us, and uh, life is a vapor, and you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, so make sure you're not boasting about tomorrow, and that you're just living for today, and of course, I'm not saying it's not important to make plans, and of course to have plans, but we should always make sure we're um, going to God when we're doing these plans, and uh, it's in His will, and that we're living for Him, and serving Him, and having a better relationship with Him, because that's what's more important than anything else in this world, and praise the Lord, and uh, Brother David had a good message last night on charity at home, and not just uh, being charitable at church, and loving people at church, but um, having a good uh, um, uh, home life and um, putting others before yourself. And it's a good message, so I encourage you to go listen to that. It's titled Charity at Home, and it's uh, available to watch on the YouTube channel at James Knox Sermons YouTube channel, or go to www.jameswknox.org and check that out and listen to it. It's a little convicting, or a lot convicting, because we tend to be selfish and um, do things for selfish gain and and uh, what's our motives behind the things that we do and putting others first instead of self and so right so I encourage you to check that out all right so today is Friday September 1st and the topic for today is titled an unfinished task and we'll read the I'll read you the word from the editor um, first and all that and then uh, do the scripture song and everything before we get started on that but I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who is the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world and hope and pray that he's your Lord and Savior today because that's the most important thing is to trust Jesus and call upon him to save your soul if you're lost and if you're saved to make sure that you're having a good relationship with the Lord and living a Christ-like life and it's a daily task and it's not easy to do because the flesh always wants to give in and and doing things not always necessarily sinful things but just things that are time wasters and uh, not redeeming the time and all that stuff and making sure we're spending um, time serving the Lord and living for him and having a good relationship with him and getting in our Bible and witnessing to others and telling others about Jesus and all that uh, stuff there so and that's a lot of work in itself to be um, like that and don't quit don't quit when things get rough and uh, tough so amen all right, so um, this is the cover for this month and next month's uh, Bible Baptist, um, or Baptist Bread, I should say, um, devotional book. And it's got a sunset there with uh, some uh, wheat there, or not sure if that's wheat or corn, and then the old bench there. I like that picture. It's a nice picture. I'm not sure where they, who uh, shot that picture, but it's a um, neat picture there for the fall. Uh, months coming up uh, September and October and the passage on the front cover is uh, from Psalm 37 11 it says but the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace Psalm 37 11 and so that's the title um, passage there on the cover and then the scripture song CD this is the cover for this month it's got some trees in the background there with a little lake and that's the with some mountains there in the background. I'm not sure if you can see those. Uh, sorry about the glare. There's some mountains back there. I'm not sure where that was taken at either. But uh, this is um, that uh, CD cover. And this is uh, September Scripture Song, CD number 9, with 43 verses throughout the uh, month here. And today's Scripture Song verse is from Psalm 1611. So we'll sing that with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. And do that a couple times since it's the only one for today. Psalms 16. Here we go. Thou wilt now will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. That is right. I will show thee the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Thou will show me the path of life, in thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. At 
thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. All right, so put that aside for a minute and grab the Bible here. And I believe this is a Psalm of David. If I remember correctly, most of the early uh, Psalms are from him. So let's go to this Psalm here. Psalm 16 and verse 11. Let's see here. There's 11 uh, verses to this Psalm. So it's, I'll read it to you really quick. And this is uh, Psalm 16. Um, Mit Mitchum of David and it says preserve me O God for in thee do I put my trust so that's a good thing to do is put our trust fully in the Lord holy in the Lord amen and not in man and it says in verse 2 O my soul thou hast said unto the Lord thou art my Lord my goodness extendeth not to thee but to the saints that are in the earth and to the excellent in whom is all my delight their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten after another god. Their drink offerings off of blood will I uh, not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance, and of my cup thou maintainest my lot. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord. That's a good thing to do is... We want the Lord to bless us all the time, and of course it's good when he blesses us, but we should always be uh, blessing him too. And it says, I will bless the Lord who had given me counsel. My reins also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me. Have you set the Lord always before you? That's a good thing we do is set the Lord always before us, before me, he says, because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. And... We can uh, take heed of that. We should never be moved and uh, taken uh, away by every wind and uh, all that stuff. So let's make sure we're standing strong and not being moved. And, uh, and then verse 9 says, Therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. <laughs> Good stuff to do there. And uh, take heed of that. Verse 10 says, For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell. Neither wilt thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life, in thy presence its fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. That is right. So if you're saved, you won't perish in hellfire anymore because you're saved and born again. And the Holy Spirit uh, um, keeps you sealed until the day of redemption when we get our glorified bodies. And this is just a down payment. Uh, our soul is saved and one day the flesh will be saved. And so we should um, learn to live the, for the Lord and put the Lord always before us and everything. So and uh, go to him for guidance and direction while we're living our daily lives and making sure that he's part of every part of our life. So amen. All right. So that was the um, rest of the passage there in Psalm 16. And I'll put that aside and we'll do that a couple more times towards the end of the broadcast. And now it's time to get into the Baptist bread. And again, this is the cover for this month and next month. So um, we'll read the uh, word from the editor. And then I'll give you all the information on how you can get this uh, devotional booklet. And uh, so it says here from Brother Green. He writes here a word from the editor, which is from Brother Green. He writes, uh, fall, back to school, harvest time, and autumn leaves. The blessing of the seasons are always of great interest and blessing to me he says and i trust you enjoy them also well we don't really have many seasons down here because it always stays warm here in florida but if you're in a part of the world or um united states where you have seasons um enjoy them so and i always like the fall time because i like to see the colors change and the trees um so uh, praise the lord for that and he writes here i don't know uh, where you live he says, and he writes, and for my dear New Zealand and Australian friends that get the Baptist bread, I know it is springtime down under, he says, so please ignore the first sentence, <laughs> right? He says, I love the opportunity to spend a few moments with this wonderful family of friends in the faith each and every day. You are a blessing to me, and I know the folk that contribute articles, print and 
collate, the pages are blessed to be a part of this wonderful enterprise of getting good thoughts to God's people and good news to the lost. Amen. He writes here, I came across an interesting verse that kind of describes what goes on in getting out the Baptist bread six times a year, except for maybe the feet on um, the mountain part. He says, he says, how beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publish, publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publish salvation, that saith unto Zion, thy God reigneth, Isaiah 52, 7. And he concludes, he says, hey, if God said they, are be they were beautiful, then they are beautiful. God bless. So that was from Brother Green there, the word from the editor. And now let's get into the topic for today, Friday, September 1st, 2023, titled An Unfinished Task. And the author here is W.T. That would be the initials for W.T. That would be Brother Willard Thomas. And he is deceased, gone to be with the Lord. And he was from Gainesville, Georgia. So let me read you what he wrote. And this is a short little one, a little poem here. And the passage is from Acts 20, verse 24. It says, But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I may finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Acts 20:24. 20, and I believe that was Paul speaking, so let's go here and see here some context in Acts chapter 20. Really quick. So Acts 20. And go here. Let's see, so twenty twenty four. Let's see where's twenty four at. So let's go back up here to verse seventeen and read from here because it's a new paragraph here. And it says, And from Miletus he sent to Ephesus and called the elders of the church, and when they were come to him, he said unto them, Ye know, from the first day that I came into Asia, after what manner I have been with you at all seasons, serving the Lord with all humility of mind, and with many tears and temptations which befell me by the lying in wait of the Jews, and how I kept back nothing that was profitable unto you, but have shewed you, and have taught you publicly, and from house to house. So, um, is Paul um, speaking there? It says, testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance towards God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. And now, behold, I go bound in the Spirit unto Jerusalem, not knowing the things that shall befall me there, save that the Holy Ghost witnesseth in every city, saying that bonds and afflictions abide me. But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy, and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. And now, behold, I know that ye all, among whom I have gone preaching the kingdom of God, shall see my face no more. Wherefore I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men, for I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. So... Amen. Okay. And then uh goes on to 28 all the way to um, the rest of the verse. So I encourage you to read uh, the rest of that. And, of course, read the start of um, verse 20, which um, starts out, uh, says, And after the uproar was ceased, Paul called unto him the disciples and embraced them and departed for to go into Macedonia. So that was... Um, what happened uh, in verse nine or chapter nineteen? So it's good to read all that and understand what's going on there. But we don't have time to get into all that today. So um, read that on your own, own time. Acts nineteen and twenty. All right. So here we go. This is titled an unfinished ta task, and it says here the author writes here. He says, Lord, please don't let me leave this world with an unfinished task of work left undone. Of all that you ask, I have been blessed in many ways. God, use me yet in my latter days. 
I have known so much of the goodness of God, walked in the paths where good men trod. This, Lord, I request in my sunset time that my work be completed as I tow the line. From time to eternity, tis only a step. May none of my tasks be left unkept. Only to please you, Lord, is my final request to do my duty and give my best. I've been so blessed, what more could I ask than to finish my course and leave no unfinished task? Hmm. So that was the poem there, and good poem there. So let's make sure that we aren't leaving any unfinished task uh, before we leave this earth. And amen. All right, so that is the end of the Baptist bread um, topic for today. And now I'll go ahead and grab the Daily Strength book and get into this. This is Daily Strength, Volume 1, a book by Douglas D. Stoffer and Andrew B. Ray. As we're continuing through this topic of joy this week. And I have two more um, on this week and then joy continues next week. So this is day 209 and it's Friday titled Joy in Righteousness. It says in Luke 10, 17 and the 70 returned again with joy saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. So that's Luke 10, 17. I encourage you to read the whole entire uh, chapter there so you can understand what's going on in that chapter. <clears throat> and uh, so we have introductory thoughts. It says, We have already learned that our joy is to be found in the Lord, and this joy is a special gift from above. That's right. With this uh, truth found foundational to our uh, study, what are some things that we can do as believers that will bring us lasting joy so what are some things that we can do to as believers to bring us on, on lasting joy far too many people think joy surfaces once the stresses of life cease or at least begin to diminish yet the bible teaches that joy can be found only in faithfully serving the lord right whether you're going through trials and troubles and tribulation you can have joy in those things too and uh so it can uh, teaches that joy can be found only in faithfully serving the Lord. Today's verse reveals that the disciples found joy through what God had done in and through them. Considering a few more scriptural examples of joy should help to solidify our mindset concerning this subject. The Bible records great joy as the people of God willingly sacrificed to the Lord. And that's First Chronicles 29 17 is the passage there. It says Proverbs 21, 15 reveals that it is joy to the just to do judgment. Mm. The book of Luke tells us that there is joy in heaven when one sinner repents. Luke 15, 7. And then I encourage you to read all of Luke 15. And it says from these and other examples, we know that true joy will be found when we willingly serve the Lord God, but never in the things of this world right so can't find true joy unless you're serving the lord and living for him and uh, doing what he wants us to do and only temporary joy in the world and uh so it's better to have the joy of the lord amen <clears throat> so that was the introductory thoughts now we have devotional thoughts and this is for children but of course you can apply it to um, adults too in many ways it says heaven will be a place full of joy with no sin, sickness, or even sadness, etc. The Bible teaches that in heaven, God's servants shall serve him. Revelation 22, 3. We will be serving in heaven, yet true joy on earth right now also comes from doing what God wants us to do. So why not? Why, why are we waiting to, to get to heaven before we start serving the Lord and stuff? Why not do it today and have joy today? So... Praise the Lord. So that is the um, devotional thoughts for children. And now for everyone. It says, when is the last time you witnessed to someone you knew was lost? Hmm. When is the last time you gave financially toward the work of a missionary? These things are similar actions. Are the, are, so he says, these things and similar actions are the things that will bring you lasting joy. Would you rather spend time doing your favorite hobby, hobby or serving the Lord? Be honest. 
Um, of course, the flesh always wants to do things that um, that the Lord doesn't want us to do. So let's be honest with ourselves and give up those things and uh, know that um, true joy comes from serving the Lord and not from doing our favorite hobby or things of the flesh. It says, what does your answer tell you about your heart's condition? Hoo hoo. Ouch. Okay, so that was for everyone. And now for prayer thoughts. It says, ask God to show you the things in life that bring true, lasting joy. And then the second prayer thought is, ask the Lord to help you get your priorities in order. Mm, good prayer thoughts. So, uh, good thing to pray to the Lord too. And then the song, which will be the second hymn for today, is titled, Fade, Fade, Each, Ear uh, Each Earthly Joy. So that will be the second hymn. And now it's time to move into the hymn uh, singing part of the broadcast. So we'll sing these two hymns. The first one I'm not too familiar with. So I found the instrumental for it. So we'll listen to it and see how easy it is to sing along with. And there are, I believe, eight stanzas to this uh, hymn here. So um, a more lengthy hymn. So this is hymn 484 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book titled Sweet Affliction Hallelujah. And this is another Help for the Saint hymn, a spiritual song written by Samuel Pierce, 1769 to 1799, adapted by John Rippon, 1751 to 1836, and then from the Southern uh, Harmony, 1854. So no story for this one. So press play and we'll listen along to it and see how easy it is to sing. Now I'll just read you the stanzas, so let's get started here. part sounds a little challenging but we'll see what we can do here <clears throat> in the floods of tribulation while the billows o'er me roll Jesus whispers consolation and supports my fainting soul hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. <laughs> Thus the lion yields mighty honey from the eater food is given strength and thus I still press forward singing as I wait to heaven sweet affliction sweet affliction and my sins are all forgiven sweet affliction sweet affliction and my sins
so in darkest dispensations doth my faithful Lord appear with his richest consolations to reanimate and cheer. Sweet affliction, sweet affliction, thus to bring my Savior near. Sweet affliction, sweet affliction, thus to bring my Savior near. <clears throat> Floods of tribulation heightened, billows still around me roar. Those that know not Christ be frightened, but my soul defies your power. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. In the sacred page recorded, thus his word securely stands. Fear not, I'm in trouble near thee, naught shall pluck you from my hands. Sweet affliction, sweet affliction, every word my love demands. Sweet affliction, sweet affliction, every word my love demands. All I meet, I find assist me in my path to heavenly joy. Where the trials and now are can me, trials never or annoy. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Stanza. Bless therewith the way of glory, still the path I'll ne'er forget. But exalting cry it lead me to my blessed Savior seat. Sweet affliction. Sweet affliction, which has brought to Jesus' feet. Sweet affliction, sweet affliction, which has brought to Jesus' feet. Amen. That was a good hymn there. All right, now let me give you the references and then move on to the second hymn. So stanza one, we have John sixteen thirty three. 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 5, Psalm 107, verse 8, and stanza 2 is Judges 14, 14, uh, Philippians 4, 11 through 13, and Acts 26, 18. Stanza 3, we have Romans 8, 28, and Psalm 107, 15. Stanza 4 is Psalm 23, 4, uh, 2 Corinthians 12, 9, and Isaiah 41.10, stanza 5, we have 2 Corinthians 4.8, Psalm 118.6, and Psalm 107.21, stanza 6 is Romans 15.4, um, John 10.28, and Psalm 119.140, uh, stanza 7 is Romans 5.3-5, 3 5, Romans 21.4, and Psalm 107.31, and then stanza 8 is 2 Corinthians 4.17, Revelation 
Revelation 4, 8 through 11, and Romans 8, 18. So that is the end of the first hymn. And now we're going to jump ahead here a little bit to this next hymn that was from the Daily Strength book. So let me see if I can find the instrumental for this one. This one's more familiar. I'm sure you know it. It's um, titled, Jesus is Mine. Um, and the actual one... It's differently titled in the um, book here. So the title I gave you from the book is um, how it's titled in the book is Fade, Fade, Each Earthly Joy. Also titled Jesus is Mine. So however you want to look it up. So we'll type in Jesus is Mine and see if we can find it that way. So Jesus is Mine, him, it's the middle. Let's see if we can pull it up that way. All right, so hopefully this is the right one. Let's just see if there's a. Let me look here and make sure. Yep. All right, it is. Amen. Okay, so. Turn that back up. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is titled Jesus is Mine. Also uh, um, referred to as uh, Fade, Fade, Each Earthly Joy. And this is hymn four, or excuse me, 564 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. Um, this is the cons Consecration of the Saint Hymn, a spiritual song written by Jane C. Bon Bonar, B-O-N-A-R, Bonar, 1821 to 1884. And then Theodore E. Perkins, 1831 to 1912. So there is a little story for this one. So press play and try to sing along with the instrumental. So here we go. Fade, fade, each earthly joy. Jesus is mine. Pray. Every mortal tie, Jesus is mine. Dark is the wilderness, distant the resting place. Jesus alone can bless, Jesus is mine. Tempt not my soul away, Jesus. Jesus is mine, hear what I ever say, Jesus is mine. Perishing things of clay, born but for one brief day, pass from my heart away, Jesus is mine. Farewell, ye dreams of night, Jesus is mine. Mine is a dawning bright, Jesus is mine. All that my soul has tried, left but a dismal void, Jesus has satisfied, Jesus is mine. Farewell mortality, Jesus is mine. Welcome eternity, Jesus is mine. Welcome ye scenes of rest, Welcome, ye mansions blessed. Welcome, a Savior's breast. Jesus is mine. Hallelujah. That's right, and Jesus can be yours too if you'll just simply call upon him and trust him as your Savior. So, amen. You did him there. And now let me read you this little story here at the bottom. It says, A, br a brief of family... After the death of his parents and sister, Bonar composed these verses she learned by experience, as have so many 
that the source of hope and joy is found in the immortal. Her memorial reads, Until the day break and the shadows flee away. Hmm. So that's a good little story there. And now the references. So stanza one, we have Colossians 3, 1 through 4, and Hebrews 4, 15. Stanza two is Job 14, 1 through 2, and is uh, Ecclesiastes 3 through uh, 1 through 3. Stanza uh, 3 is Psalm 90, verses 9 through 10, and Ecclesiastes 1, 2 through 3 again. Uh, or actually, yeah, so 1, 2 through 3, the other one was 3, 1 through 3, so that one for stanza 3. And then uh, the final reference for stanza 3 is Philippians 3, 7 through 9. And then stanza 4, we have 1 Corinthians 15, 51. And John 14, 1 through 3. So that is the end of the hymns. And so I'll put that aside there. I'll put that over there for a minute. And move those. All right, so put that aside here. And now we'll do the scripture song again a couple more times. And of course, the, turn that back on there. All right, and then we'll do some prayer um, cards here. So, and uh, do that afterwards. So here we go. All right. Actually, before we do the scripture song, let's go ahead and do the prayer cards first. So uh, I got picked out a few of them here, and um, the first one I wanted to do for for you is um, to pray for uh, Brother Jacob and Sister Kirsten Jensen, and they are missionaries to the Navajo Nation. They stopped by church last night and made a surprise visit. So this is their prayer card. And they're still on deputation. They're uh, going and raising um, support to get on the mission field to the Navajo Nation. And that's their uh, information. And the front of the card uh, says here in Acts 26, 18, it says to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light. So that's the front of the card. And then you got the back of the card there if you want to do a screenshot. And that's with the information on the back there. I'll try to get it close so you can... Get a good shot of that. So the information on the back is Jacob and Kirsten Jensen, missionaries to the Navajo Nation. And the phone number there is 763-337-3785. And then their email address is jensen at uh, jensen2az at gmail.com. And then the website is www.navajolandbaptistmissions.com. And then their sending church is the Bible Baptist Church at uh, 872 Glenwood Road, Deland, Florida, D-E-L-A-N-D, Deland, Florida, 32720. And then the phone number is 386-736-9274. And then, uh, again, the um, support address is the Bible Baptist Church, Attention Jensen Support, and that same address there. And so, again, that's the front of the prayer card there. And then the back, so that's the back there, and so pray for them as they're traveling around. And then, of course, um, pray for uh, the Haynes family, and they're already missionaries to the Navajo Nation. They've been there for quite some time, uh, since 2009, it says. And Joel Haynes, and the information on the front of the card is P.O. Box 232, uh, Ganando. Arizona 86505 that's G A N A D O Arizona and then the cell number is 9282299707 and then the email is joel and uh, fabi f a b i at yahoo.com so that is their prayer card um the front cover of it and then the back cover there is all their information there in the back so, and that is, um, their sending church is Trinity Baptist Church at 2212 North Davis Drive, Arlington, Texas, 76012, and that's www org. 817-460-7940 is the phone number, and then pa Pastor Todd uh, Lassiter is the pastor there. And it says here, uh, please visit our website to learn more about our uh, ministries like church planning, uh, Ganando Baptist Bible College, NBM Youth Camp, Na Native Bi uh, B 
Bible Radio, and that's Navajo um, Joel, um, yeah, Jeff, N Navajo Joel um, Land Baptist Missions dot com. That's N A V, uh, yeah, Navajo Land Baptist uh, Missions dot com is the website there. So that's their prayer card. So pray for them, the Haynes family, and then also want to pray for um, the Hewitt family. And uh, they are traveling around doing uh, revivals and tent meetings. And uh, I believe they're up in Indianapolis right now, getting ready for that tent meeting. So that's their prayer card right there. And what their prayer card looks like. And they are Hewitt's uh, for revival. And this is Evangelist Chris uh, Hewitt and his family at www.hewittsforrevival.com. And then the back of the prayer card has the information there and that says um, their information and then that's uh, the Hewitt family and their number is 770-883-9278 and then the email is uh, chewitt44 at gmail.com and it says available for revivals, pulpit supply, tent meeting, meetings, youth meetings, etc. Old-fashioned Bible preaching and old-fashioned gospel singing. Amen and hallelujah for that. And then the support address is P.O. Box 5632, and that's in Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia, 30742. And then their sending church is Bible Baptist Church in Rossville, Georgia, Pastor Rick Gravely. And he's one of the authors of the Baptist Bread devotional, um, does some um, devotions in that book. And then so it says follow us on Facebook at dot dot slash slash www dot facebook dot com slash hewitt for revival so that's their information and then finally we got the Kasselovs and I got two different prayer cards for them and um, I think they're using this second one now but I like this first one here it's got a little sea turtle on the front of it and they used to be missionaries in Germany but now they're in Hawaii so that's the one prayer card there with the little turtle and then this is the other one um, that I have. And I think this is the newest one that they've been using. So that's the two that they have. So I'll give you the information off this newer one. But uh, there's the back. This is the back of the old one there. So that one. And then the, the one for the new one. That's the back information there. So you can take a picture and then flip it around there. So they are, um, uh, it says pray for the castle laws. Um, that's C-A-S-T-E-L-L-A-W-S, -L -L uh, Missionaries to Hawaii, Planting Churches in Hawaii, Hawaii Bible Institute, European Missionary Press and Public Street Ministry. And that's uh, Brother Thomas and Sister Angie Castellaw. And it says here, their verse here is 2 Timothy 2, 1-3. It says, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus and the things that thou has heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Right, so that's the uh, front information. And in the back says, pray for the Kasselovs, missionaries in Hawaii. It says, after nearly 30 years in the European theater, now working with the U.S. military and local nationals in the Pacific theater, he says to contact us at pastor at biblebaptist.de and then www.castlelaw.com and then their home church is Branch Hill Baptist Church, Pastor Joel Greer, 6526 Branch Hill, uh, Guiana Pike, that's G-U-I-N-E-A Pike, uh, Loveland, Ohio, Ohio, 45140 and then the phone number there is 513 683-3663 and then the website is www.branchhill.org and then this, to send support to uh, Bible Baptist Missions Inc. P.O. Box 17615 and that's in Pensacola, Florida 32522 and then the board number is 850-474-6970 and then it says here how to pray for missionaries, which is good here. They have how to pray for them each day of the week. So Sunday, how to pray for missionaries is uh, for Sunday. It says the missionaries 
relationship to God. Monday, you can pray for the missionary's physical and emotional life. Tuesday, you can pray for the missionary's marriage, if they're married, that is. Um, and Wednesday, the missionary's ability to communicate. Thursday, the missionary's ministry. Friday, the missionary and his fellow workers. And then Saturday, the missionary's place of service. And of course, this is specific for, for him, but you can use this for any missionary that you're praying for, and whether they're married or single. So pray for them for these different things. And that's a good uh, prayer thing to do each and every day, how to pray for missionaries. So amen. All right. So that is their information. So I wanted to get that out to you so you can pray for some of these missionaries. All right. So now it's time to get into the um, the scripture song again. So we'll do this a couple times since it's the first one of the month. And again, this is from CD number nine with 43 verses, September of scripture songs. And press play and sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty again. Psalms 16. Here we go. Now show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand thou art pleasures forevermore. Show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. All right, we'll do that once more so you can get it down. Psalms 16, 11. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. I will Let's show me the path of life. Of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore all right so that is the end of the broadcast but before i go let me give you the scripture song for tomorrow and the daily strength um topic and then the baptist bread topic for tomorrow and then the hymns and then i want to show you this book here that i started reading on it's a very very thick book but uh, you might be interested in it it's uh, about uh, uh martyrs um throughout the ages and uh so give me that book here in a minute as i started reading it um, a couple days ago but uh here we go so tomorrow will be the second of september and psalm 47 verses 6 through 7 will be the scripture song and it says sing praises to god sing praises sing praises unto our king sing praises for god is the king of all the earth sing ye praises with understanding that's right so that's tomorrow's scripture song and then tomorrow's baptist bread topic will be titled uh, how good is your word mm, good question so that's the topic for saturday september 2nd and uh, ecclesiastes 5 5 is the passage there and so that'll be tomorrow's baptist bread and then tomorrow's daily strength uh, topic as we're concluding the first week on this topic of joy is day 210 and it's saturday titled expressions of joy and so isaiah 49 13 will be the um scripture uh, passage there and then the hymn for tomorrow the second hymn will be titled um heavenly sunlight and i'm not too familiar with that one and then we'll also read quotes from the next volume volume 2 week 30 uh subject is modesty so modesty so we're in bring those uh I'll read those uh quotes there and then the following week, we continue week 31, Joy Continued. So it'll be the second week on this topic of joy. So, amen. And so let's have joy in the Lord, as it said today. So that's um, that. And then the um, first hymn for tomorrow will be titled, uh, Hide Thou Me. And this is one that 
I'm a little bit more familiar with, so you might uh, know this one uh, too. It's uh, one by Fanny J. Crosby, and this is hymn 485 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book, another Help for the Saint hymn, a spiritual song written by Fanny J. Crosby and Robert Lowry. And there is a little story for this one, so that will be the first one there. And if you want to get a copy of the hymn book and the Daily Strength Volumes 1-4 through four books, they're available on MelodyPublications.com is where you can get those books at. And then the Scripture Song book and CDs are available online at www.DailyScriptureSongs.com. That's Brother Dean and Sister Patty Runyon's website. And uh, pray for them also. They are missionaries of Port Kaituma, Guyana. So pray for them. And then the Baptist Bread devotional book is available online at BaptistBread.com or www.TimGreenMinistries.org. And like I said, I'll give you the actual um, email, uh, the address, how to write them through uh, snail mail. So um, the editor uh, is um, Brother Tim Green. And uh, so it says here that all scripture is from the authorized version, also known as King James Bible. Praise the Lord, that's the word of God. And then the Baptist Bread is an independent Christian publication, which is published bi-monthly. Writers of the Baptist Bread our independent, fundamental, separated, soul-winning, Bible-believing Baptists. And the editor is Tim Green, and the address for this is Baptist Bread at 37055 Joy Road, Westland, Michigan, 48185. And then their phone number is 734-425-0466. And they have a fax number, if you have a fax, uh, 734-425-2044. And then the email address is bb at joybaptist.com. And then uh, his information is Evangelist Tim Green at P.O. Box 1, Day Heights, Ohio, 45150. And then the website is www.timgreenministries.org, which I just gave you. And then Mission Graphics is a mission a ministry of Joy Baptist Church. Again, that uh, um, address is the same I just gave you. So that's all the information. So that's that. Baptist Bread Devotional. And then this book I was reading, or started reading, is a big thick book here. And you probably know about it. And it's titled Martyr's Mirror. And so this is a big thick book here. And it says here in the back of the book, it says, This book is a record of the path of the early Christian martyrs up to the mid-17th century. Christians paid a high price the sacrifice of their own lives to preserve a pure faith in the true gospel of Jesus Christ. Tortures, persecutions, and sufferings were endured with fortitude and trust in God. It says graphic stories tell of more than 4,000 Christians who endured suffering, torture, and death because of their simple faith in the gospel of Christ. Songs, letters, prayers, and confessions appear with the descriptions of defenseless Christians who were able to love their enemies and return good for evil. It says Martyr's Mirror by uh, Th Th Thielman, T-H-I-E-L-E-A-M-A-N, excuse me, uh, J. Von Brott, B-R-A-G-H-T, includes more than 50 etchings by the noted Dutch artist uh, Jan uh, Lucan, that's J-A-N-L- U-Y-K-E-N for his last name. So that's that big thick book there. And uh, so that's that. And then I also have this uh, um, little um, uh, other book here that I bought. Um, it's titled uh, Martyrs, The Martyr's Mirror Made Plain. And it's written by James W. Lowry, How to Study and Profit from the Martyr's Mirror. So that's this book here, this little uh, book there. So that's uh, those two books there. And also um, encourage you to check out um, Fox's Book of Martyrs. That's another one about uh, different martyrs throughout the centuries. And amen. And then the Bible, the King James Bible is the Word of God. This is the book we should always be getting into first and foremost and praying to God and have him show us what he'd have us to see as we're uh, reading it and studying it. So amen. All right. Well, yeah, that's it. And if you know somebody that doesn't uh, have Facebook, you can direct them to the YouTube channel by going to Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting or typing in Baptist Bread Broadcast and look me up that way and then hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell and uh, you can like that uh, um, those broadcasts as you're watching them uh, that way and then I also have a podcast where I've been reading different heroes of the 
Christian faith and missionary stories at uh, um, God's um, God's Messenger Lighthouse podcast, and that's available on Spotify or iHeartRadio is the platforms I have them on right now, so you can check that out. So, amen. All right, so that's it for today. So thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you. Until next time, bye for now.